Joining me now from our bureau in Washington, D.C., Director of Government Relations at the Federation for American Immigration Reform, or FAIR, R.J. Howman. R.J., Ken Cuccinelli, um, uh, people may remember him in the political circles, but he's now with the Trump administration. He's the Acting Director of Citizenship and Immigration Services. He's telling sponsors of legal immigrants, mm -hmm. legal immigrants now, uh, that, hey, if you don't keep track of the people that you're sponsoring, to come into this country mm -hmm. and make sure that they don't live off the government dole and are productive members of our society, uh, then we're going to come after you, the sponsors. Now, this is something, this, I, when I read this, I said, Yahoo, because this is crucial. We have to hold people accountable in this country for who they sponsor bringing into this country from another country. Absolutely, Graham. You know, Ken Cuccinelli is right out the gate enforcing our immigration laws and most of all protecting American taxpayers. As you mentioned, under this new thing, it was a memo put out by President Trump in May, and now he is hitting the ground running at USCIS and implementing it. So now, chain migration drives all of our legal mi immigration into the United States of over a million people every year. And now what USCIS, USCIS is doing here is making sure that when you sponsor someone to come here as a legal immigrant and they end up using public benefits, you, the sponsor, are required to reimburse whatever federal agency gave out those benefits. It's going to make sure the people come here are self-sufficient, can support themselves, and most importantly, protect American taxpayers and some of the American people who actually deserve and need some of these benefits. But, but it's also a component of assimilation, if you think about it, right? Because if you just kind of kick oh, back absolutely. in your own world and you collect government funds, whether it's federal, state, or, or local, uh, and you live off we the people, the tax, you're not assimilating. Sure, we want you to learn uh, English and, and learn our culture and learn the Constitution. That's all part of assimilation, but this is part of it, too. But you mentioned chain migration. Uh, this is something, and I'm so disappointed in the 115th Congress. They could have addressed this. They could have repealed the Hart Seller Act, for example. Uh, they could have attacked at least just the component of chain migration. But we still have on the books this ability for people who are not U.S. citizens, who have come here from another country, to determine who else comes in this country. And, and this is what the Trump administration is trying to curtail. No, absolutely. It's about time, you know, the families should not drive our immigration policy. It should all be merit-based. People who will come here and assimilate, they will contribute to our economy. Now, everything that our organization is supported and the Trump administration is support, we support the nuclear family. You should be able to sponsor your wife or sponsor children or people very close to you, but not your third cousin, your, your uncle and other people like that. That should not be how our immigration system is driven. Fortunately, President Trump has supported something like the RAISE Act, introduced by Senators Cotton and Purdue, and even the more recent immigration proposal that Jared Kushner led on will seek to have a more merit-based model where people that will come here and contribute, well, they will pay their taxes, they won't use federal benefits, it won't be a family-driven system anymore. No other really countries around the world, other first world nations, have such a legal immigration no. system like we do. It's about time we change it. No, we need the merit system. Now, on the illegal immigration um, side, we're absolutely being swamped by illegal immigrants at crisis. the border right now. It is. It's a full-blown. As, as one uh, Border Patrol agent told me, RJ, uh, they have lost control of the border, and that's a terrible thing for any country to endure. Uh, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution tells us that it's the Congress that must fix this problem. There's a complete and total dereliction of duty going on. But the word is out. The word is out uh, not beyond Central America that, hey, mm -hmm. American borders, U.S. borders are wide open. And so what we're seeing now is uh, record numbers of illegal immigrants from Africa now attacking our border. And, and this goes to the temporary protected status list. This is the problem. We give this temporary protected status to, to certain people in certain countries, like in Central America, but it also extends into Africa. Until recently, Angola was on that list. So these people from Africa, Sudan is still on it. Uh, South Sudan is still on it. Somalia is still on it. So they see this as a green light to come in the illegal way and walk up to our agents and say, hey, you got to let me in. Yeah, well, first and foremost, you just brought up a great point with Africa. Like, this isn't a regional crisis anymore. Word is spreading around the globe that we have loopholes in our asylum laws. We are unable to deport you once you cross in here illegally and claim it. It takes two years for us to even go through the system. But as you pointed out, just several weeks ago, I believe, 500 Africans were picked up in the Del Rio sector right. in one week. 
The year before, only 211 Africans total were apprehended at our border. Word is getting out. Some of these nations, as you mentioned, in Africa are epicenters for uh, health crises like Ebola. You have terrorism yeah. infiltrating some nations in Africa as well. If word keeps getting out that we just let you in, you know, we release you into the interior of the country because our Congress refuses to act. Mexico has done more to address this crisis than Congress has, led by congressional Democrats. If that keeps happening, word is going to get out. It'll even get out regionally in Latin America, again, likely in Venezuela as well. But once word starts spreading around the world, people are going to be coming to the borders from all over around until Congress acts and steps up. We need to end protected status, among other things, end protected status, or it's going to be eventually the mm -hmm. end of this republic. Let's face it. RJ, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.